Hello everyone. Android TV OS is a customized version of the Android operating system, specifically designed for streaming devices like smart TVs and set-top boxes. The interface of Android TV OS is optimized for larger screens, featuring large, easy-to-see icons and simple navigation. Users can easily access their favorite apps, control the device with voice commands, and enjoy a smooth entertainment experience. Running Android TV OS on a PC is an excellent solution for those looking to transform their computer into a versatile entertainment hub. However, running Android TV OS in an emulated environment does come with its own set of limitations, such as apps that may be incompatible or not function as intended. Despite these challenges, it's still worth trying on your computer or laptop, as you can enjoy a fast and smooth experience. Now, let's get started. First, download the ISO file for Android TV OS. I've included the link in the description of this video. The latest and most stable version is still KTV9 with gaps. We need to enable Hyper-V. Since Hyper-V is built into Windows 10 and 11, there is no need to download any third-party software. To enable Hyper-V, open Control Panel and select Programs and Features. Next, click on Turn Windows Features On or Off. In the list, find and select Hyper-V, then click OK to install. After the installation is complete, restart your computer to activate Hyper-V. The next step is to enable virtualization in the BIOS. Restart your computer and press the function key as shown in the image. Navigate to the Virtualization section and check the boxes for the two options as indicated. Save the changes and restart your computer. After the installation is complete, restart your computer to activate Hyper-V. Open Hyper-V and click on New Virtual Machine, then click Next. Name your virtual machine, I'll name it Android TV OS. Choose Generation 1, then select the amount of RAM for the virtual machine. Depending on your computer specifications, I've set it to 8 GB here. For the network, select Default Switch. Set the hard disk size to approximately 40 GB. Next, navigate to the ISO file you downloaded in the previous step. Finally, click Finish to complete the setup. After starting the virtual machine, you'll see three options. Choose the third option to begin the installation.
Click, Create Primary, select, No GPT, then choose, New Disk. Click, Write, and type, Yes. Now, exit the setup. You should see a new partition. Install Android TV OS on this partition, formatting it as extension 4. Click Yes, skip installing Grub for dual boot, and wait about 2 minutes for the installation to complete. Now you can enjoy your new setup. Good luck, and see you in the next video. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe.